Hey, how's it going? It's Ollie here. So in today's video, we're going to do some product research. This makes it really easy because all you need to do is follow the prompts, right? So click one of the buttons here. What category of products are you interested in? Um, so obviously it's asking me, um, you know, a bunch of questions. Uh, and you can just ask, you can just answer. So if I say pets, for example, um, we can have a look for a load of examples of products in the pets category. Then it's going to ask me about the uh, material. So I'm just going to say really any material because I'm not that bothered, but you may have a preference. Maybe you don't want to sell plastic products or something like that. You want eco-friendly. Totally fine. You can say that. Um, as you can see, it's already dialed in with the kind of products we want to sell on Amazon, right? High demand, low competition, small, light, easy to ship. Um, so uh, it's asking, do you want me to generate the list? Yes. And just like that, in a couple of seconds, it's going to give us a list. Uh, tons of products for us to go and do a deeper dive on on Amazon. So it used to take us so long to come up with these product ideas because we need to find weird ways to like trick the search engine on Amazon to find these products. But with AI, it makes it so much easier. Um, it's given us six. So I'm going to say, can you give me 100 more? Because we want a load of them. Uh, and it's doing all the thinking work for us, which is just so nice, right? Um, so let's have a look. I'm going to take some of these. Apple AirTag holder collars. Okay, so let's take that example. Pretty cool idea for a product. I'm actually going to put it into Amazon.co.uk and just have a look at what this product actually is. All right, so this is, um, it's not the AirTag itself, but it's a collar for your pet with a little silicone thing that goes around the AirTag. So brilliant idea, because if your cat or your dog goes missing, you can just have a look on your phone or whatever, see where the AirTag is, track them down. Pretty genius. So what we're going to do next, now we've got this idea for a hot product, is analyze it. And we want to have a look at the four elements of the smash hit product radar to see if it's a good fit. These elements are high demand, low competition, low hassle, and gap in the market. So we're going to start off with high demand. Like We're just going to look. Are people buying these? Right? We don't want to sell something nobody's buying. Like, are people buying these? The answer is yes. So I'm using AMZ Scout to check this, by the way. If you don't have this, that's totally fine. You can actually use the AMZ Scout's free sales estimator. And what you can do is just grab a few of the products and check to see they're making a decent amount of sales. Right, we want at least like 300 sales a month on like three of the products. Uh, and then we know the product is selling well and there's definitely demand. Um, so what I'm going to do is grab the best sellers rank. Okay, it should be on the listing somewhere. So I can show you how you can do this for free. Um, let's have a look. For some reason this listing doesn't have it. If it doesn't have it, just find another one. And it's usually in the additional information. Uh, there we are, additional information, best sellers rank, 628. So we can go over to the AMZ estimator, choose the country, choose the category. Um, and if I'm going too fast, by the way, feel free to like watch this over and over again until it makes sense. Enter the sales rank here and it will tell you how many sales it's making. So it's making 1430 sales a month. Right. So that's not bad. Right, I mean, they're charging how much? 597 for this product. OK. And by the way, I've got clients who've been selling products 599 for more than a decade and making a thousand pounds a month profit after all expenses. So you might think this is a little low price, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's profitable. These products sell, you know, in very high volumes because they're cheap. So they're making around about eight thousand pounds a month with this um, particular air tag collar. So this one has high demand, uh, but we want to see, like, does the whole niche have high demand? Like, do people want to buy lots of different types of these collars? Um, so for this, I'm actually going to use AMZ Scout Chrome extension because it's easier. Um, but you can just go ahead and, and use the free one to have a look uh, if you don't want to get the, the software just yet. 
good thing about this is I can sort by revenue. So I can very quickly see how many people are crashing it in the niche. As you can see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 sellers making at least £3,000 a month. Right? So all of those sellers are, are making like probably at least a thousand pounds a month profit maybe 500 a thousand some of them are making 3k a month profit you know after all expenses so we know if we offer a product into the niche and it's like really good quality and the customers like it we can make money too so that's the first thing you want to look at does it have high demand the next thing the next element of the smash it product radar is low competition so how high are the competition levels in this niche for this we're going to have a look at the number of sellers with a lot of reviews right 500 reviews or more on a listing means that customers really trust the seller and like as a customer you want tons of reviews to look at to see is the product good quality all right so how many sellers have more than 500 reviews now we want to make sure we don't count the duplicates because it's the same listing so we just count them as one so these ones here we just count as one but how many sellers have at least 500 reviews how many sellers do the customers trust well there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen i think that's a duplicate no eighteen there's eighteen established sellers on this page with more than 500 reviews on their listing so this is a, a red flag right why because the demo, the competition's a bit too high if there's 18 sellers on this page that customers trust they're probably going to buy from these sellers rather than you a new seller right so it might be a little bit hard to compete in this niche now the only way um, we can get some validation and, and hope that we could compete is by finding what I call um, a beacon product. So a beacon product is like a product that lights the way and shows you there is opportunity for a new seller. Um, they've got really low reviews and really decent revenue. So this seller here has only got 10 reviews on the listing and they're making £3,407 a month. Okay, it's this product here. So if they're doing it and they don't have a lot of reviews, you could potentially do it too. Okay, so there is high competition, but there's possibly an opportunity for a new seller to do okay. All right, cool. Well, let's keep going. So we've looked at high demand, we've looked at competition. Now let's look at low hassle. Is this product small and light? Would it be easy to ship? I mean, the answer is yeah. It's a collar. Right, it's easy to manufacture. It's literally a piece of... What is it material with a little silicone tag on it and a little buckle you could fit probably a thousand of them in like a box not going to be very difficult to ship and it's easy to ship to customers it's easy for customers to use they don't need an instruction manual like this thing's easy to sell it's easy to manufacture it's definitely low hassle good all right so what about gap in the marketplace this is the final element you want to analyze when you're looking at products. Why? Because there's no point offering something to the market unless you're adding value. Like, You want customers, they're going to be asking themselves, why should we buy from you rather than all the other sellers? And it's not going to be because you have tons of reviews in the beginning because you won't have any reviews in the beginning. right? It's going to be because your product somehow is better than the other products in some way. Maybe it's a new color. Maybe it's does something that the other ones don't. Right? If the other products have some kind of flaw, maybe you've fixed that flaw. Right? But you need some way to convince the customer to buy your product. Right? So let's look at some of the, the best sellers on this page and just see you know, what can be improved. Right? The clues are always in the reviews. So what clues can we find? Well, this one sells really well. It makes like, what is it, like 18,000 a month, something like that. Um, sorry, 15,000 a month. Um, and of course, some customers are not going to be happy. 
And when a customer leaves a one star review, like usually it's because of unmet expectations. Like they wanted the product to do something and it just hasn't done it, right? So if we can actually meet those expectations with our product, we'll get the sales even in a crowded niche. Not suitable for pet collars or anything that's not kept inside other items. Interesting. Okay, AirTag remains exposed and not secure at all. Interesting. So obviously, if you're going to have an air tag on your cat's collar or your dog's collar, you want it to stay put, right? And this is apparently slipping out of the collar, so that's a big flaw. So if you could just make it way more secure, some customers are going to buy from you rather than this seller, right? Because they'll look at the reviews and they'll see, well, it's not secure. What else is on offer? Great thing is, you can actually advertise your product on other people's listings. Like if you go down to um, any listing on Amazon, you can actually see adverts, sponsored here, adverts on the listing for other products. So you can get your product here on this product's page. Now, because it's got 11,000 reviews, obviously loads of people are going to be clicking on this listing going, okay, let me check out this, this pack of AirTag collars. Right, they might see that, oh, it's not secure and it doesn't hold it properly from one of the reviews. But then they'll see your one in the sponsored section that says extra secure and has like a unique mechanism to hold the silicone, uh, to hold the air tag in place. And they'll be like, actually, I'm going to take a chance on this new seller and buy theirs instead. Right, this is how my clients make so many sales, even though they have zero reviews, right? Because they've done something better than the big sellers, even if it's just like 1% better, right? So, is there anything else we can find? I mean, that's already a pretty big flaw, right? The, the air tag falling out. Beware, fell off my set of keys on the first day. Well, that's not good. Flimsy, lost air tag within a week. Not fit for purpose, fell out of the silicone holder. Um, very tight to fit, tag does not stay in, right? So, we've got a theme here with this listing we've definitely got ways we can improve it so is there a gap in the market yes there is so what do i think of this product well it's definitely got high demand the competition is also quite high but there are some opportunities i'll probably want a lower competition product honestly um it's definitely low hassle it's really small and easy to ship um there is a gap in the market because this product in particular um the air tag falls out so we can make it more secure um and yeah it, it's an okay opportunity competition's too high so really we want something that looks a bit more like this this is a product i analyzed a while ago called magnetic gift boxes and does what it says on the tin they're literally boxes uh, to present to people with a load of presents in with tied with ribbon sometimes they come with tissue paper and the stats for this niche are just perfect, right? The, the demand's really high. There's loads of sellers making 3K a month, right? Um, and the, the established sellers are low, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, that's pretty low, right? It, it's not a high competition niche at all. And um, there's plenty of room for a new seller to come in, offer something better, I make sales. In fact, one of my clients did sell something in this niche and they were okay with me sharing it because they found it on a previous YouTube video anyway, so it was already public. But they made a load of sales in this niche. Why? Because there's space for new sellers to compete. 